that view is from Winslow Homer's studio, which was not open till about two months after I was there. It opened last September, and the Portland uh, Main Art Gallery had renovated it. It's a, it, I think it was a two-story building right next to his parents' home, which is called Black Point Inn, and is now run as an inn, a quite expensive and quite beautiful. So, uh, you know, you can walk around there, see where he painted. And this view um, from is from Black Point in its Seiko Bay. And the, the, the colors keep changing from, you know, aquamarine as the light keeps changing. It's quite beautiful. There is, in the distance, a mountain called Mount Washington, but we have Mount Washington up the coast, you know, which is kind of funny, but that's in there. The, um, the whole coast, of course, is filled with all different kinds of ships, sailing ships of all sorts. So in some cases, I've culled the ships and just put a few in, you know. Um, but I could walk from, my daughter lives in South Portland. Sorry. So, yeah. Okay. yeah okay. So I could walk to three lighthouses with my paints, uh, and I would take my watercolor kit or my oil kit, and I w could get to um, Portland Headlight, which is in uh, what they call Cape Elizabeth, which is a part of this coast on the main coast. So I did several paintings there going each time and then also Spring Light, which was a lighthouse just about a mile away uh, near a college where my daughter teaches at that college. So I, would, I could just sit there and paint that one. And then there was a park overlooking the city, old city part of Portland. Um, and it has uh, what they call bug light. this one over here, a bug light, and it was very important because in their post office they had a shipwreck painting, and apparently a uh, ship coming from Ireland, bringing people and so on, uh, went aground right there where they put that uh, bug light. After that they put a light up, on, you know, how there has to be an awful accident before something is put up to protect it. So a lot of those lighthouses are very important. So I would just walk and, and uh, set up my paintings and paint over several hours with the light constantly changing on whatever I'm painting, you know. When on the weekends, um, my daughter would take me to places like Acadia National Park with Bar Harbor and uh, Harps, Harpswell, which is a series of islands with lobster shacks. Because as you know, the East Coast have lobsters, which we, which just simply won't survive on our coast. So the uh, one of her, one of her neighbors in South Portland had all these lobster pots, and he he told me I painted a little watercolor of his place with all these lobster pots, and he told me that he'd always been a lobster fisherman. And uh, it was pretty competitive because Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, in Canada, as you call it, you know, and the Maine and the New England uh, lobster, they have to cooperate, right? Because <laughs> they're all competitive for the market, lobster market. Anyway, I really enjoyed the whole process of painting that coast with its, you know, I don't know, it, it, it seems different from here. We're a coast too, but it's somehow or another, the light and so on seemed different from here, you know.